And what variety of pomegranate is this? White? Yep. And I would made a video earlier talking about how it was a male dominated tree. Lots of male flowers hoping to pollinate, cross pollinate over here with the wonderful variety, which was predominantly female flowered. But we ended up with quite a few fruits still on this white variety. And these are Alice's favorite variety of pomegranates. Isn't that right? Yes. What do you like most about them? Because this one is more sweeter. And how do these compare to the wonderful variety behind you there? They're both taste good, but this one is more sweeter. Yeah, I agree. They're smaller too, mm -hmm. so you get less. I think it concentrates the flavor. But the wonderful variety is so abundant. You can stand, stand up over here and eat, you know. Mm -hmm. And you may have noticed there's quite a bit of cracking occurring on some of these wonderful variety of pomegranate. And the reason for that, there's a couple different things that could be going on here. But uh, let me first tell you what it's not. And that is a pathogen, some sort of a fungal uh, disease that the plant's suffering with. If that were the case, it would be followed by some sort of discoloration, deformation of the leaves. Which is not what's happening here. But rather we get long periods of drought. And we go months and months without any natural rainfall. So unless I'm doing a regular watering schedule, what ends up happening is the ground can get really dry. And if you go for long periods of dryness or drought and go directly into heavy watering or a rain event, that can cause the splitting and that's what happened this year. I avoided doing any watering in this area by the wonderful pomegranate for most of the summer. And then towards the end there, I started putting a sprinkler over in this area and we got some cracking. The good news is, they're still fine to eat, and I'll show you why. So when we crack open the pomegranate, many of you are familiar with this white lining. It's a membrane that separates the different sections of the pomegranate, so most of the fruit is still protected. It's fine, so it's not a big deal. Now, the absolute best preventative solution for cracking is going to be to keep a nice layer of mulch around your pomegranate trees, at least a few inches deep. That's where I went wrong. I've let this mulch break down for too long I and mean, as you can see we're just left with a few bits of wood chips really protecting at least this side of the tree. I do have some living mulch, some rosemary growing around here which is doing a great job helping to shade the soil underneath. But really what this tree needs even under the rosemary would be a nice thick layer of mulch. What that's going to do is just help to keep the ground from ever getting too parched, too dry. It's going to regulate and keep moisture in the soil for a longer period of time. So that's going to be the number one recommendation to avoid this altogether, would be to just have a nice mulch around your tree. Mm -hmm. 